Uh, my name is Lockie McLean and I'm uh, captain of the Gojira and uh, it's the newest addition to the Sea Shepherd fleet. Uh, we've just arrived from Fremantle and the ship's been uh, undergoing a three-week uh, refit to get ready for our next Antarctica campaign. Uh, yeah, the vessel is 115 feet long. She was built for the round the world speed record, uh, which she broke in 2001. She's a very fast boat. Uh, she's got good range. She can travel from, uh, say, South Africa to Australia on one tank of fuel. Uh, she can accommodate about 10 people, 10 crew, and uh, she's an excellent scouting and interceptor vessel for us. Uh, enable us to get down there quickly and uh, and find the fleet early on in the season. Um, well, she can hull, hull length, you know, your speed's restricted by your, your length, uh, the hull length, but she can, she can easily get up into the mid-20s. Um, and then after that, uh, you know, depending on how much you want to push it, you can go, you can go more than that. But she's a very fast boat. It's a lot more boat. Uh, she's a longer longer vessel, wider vessel, a lot more volume inside. In fact, about twice the volume of the uh, of the Adigil. We literally just purchased the vessel uh, with the in the last month, uh, we've undergone with new engines, a whole new electronics package. Uh, we've painted the vessel Sea Shepherd black, as you can see behind me here. Um, the paint job was just done in uh, Fremantle before we left, so we're just doing a little touch-up. We were going so fast, actually, that some of the paint uh, peeled off the bow there. So we've uh, covered that with a bit of Kevlar so that uh, the paint stays on the next time around. Okay, so uh, the vessel has been operating in the tropics the last few years. Uh, in Antarctica, different story. It's quite cold and windy. We built this A to protect ourselves from the elements, uh, B from the water cannons. Uh, the uh, whaling fleet tends to shoot us with water cannons quite frequently, so uh, this will protect all of our gear from getting wet uh, and have another, you know, extra space for us to, to spend a bit of time and have more visibility on, on the ship. Throttle. You got your bow thruster controls, stern thruster controls, steering wheel, um, and you've got very, you know, really good view, 360 degree view from up here. It's very helpful when you're docking uh, and obviously when you're maneuvering in close quarters with other ships you can really see what's going on. You can see behind you uh, and you can see the other ships in the area. No danger of getting a blind spot and having a ship come upon you out of nowhere. <laughs>